The Karnataka government that is already in the eye of the storm due to allegations of collecting commission from contractors to months is now facing another controversy. BJP leader Divya Hagaragi has been named in the police sub-inspector exam scam case. There are allegations of irregularities in the examination that were held in October in the year 2021 for 545 posts. The CID, which is now probing the case, is on the lookout for the accused BJP leader as an institute that was run by her has come under scanner. Her husband is already under arrest and reportedly not cooperating in the investigation. The Congress has now tore into the ruling BJP and blamed it for the scam. My colleague Neha Hibbale now joins me live on the broadcast for more on this. Uh, Neha, the trouble for the BJP government in Karnataka only seems to be growing now. That's absolutely right, Griha. One after the other, we're seeing, in fact, you know, first it was just the accusations by, uh, you know, the Contractors Association, later by the Sears. But this is something that the, you know, government has, of course, now been forced to start investigating. This is an alleged scam. Let's give you details of this. Let's tell you that for now, what we do understand is that, you know, this had to do with the police sub-inspectors recruitment scam, where we saw, uh, you know, the, after the results were announced, there were several discrepancies that were found uh, in one of the cases, in fact, you know, of uh, Divya Hagargi, who was, uh, you know, the former BJP women's wing president in a school in one of the centers, uh, you know, that was one of the examination centers where it took place. A student was seen answering only 21 questions with scoring a full 100 marks. Now, this is, in fact, you know, shocking to say the least. During the investigation, the student over there had admitted to taking a huge sum of, in fact, you know, money, handing over the huge sum of money to be able to obtain these marks and a good rank. Now, of course, what we understand is that, you know, the CID in the state of Karnataka is investigating the matter. Seven people have already been arrested as well in this regard, both, in fact, you know, the aspirants as well as the invigilators. But the police right now is on the hunt, is on the lookout for, uh, you know, uh, Divya Hagarag. Now, let's also tell you over here that, you know, while the BJP has come out openly in the state of Karnataka and said that, you know, she isn't uh, related to the party or affiliated to the party, it's important to mention that in that very school, uh, you know, that institution that she runs, there are several photos of her with prominent politicians from the ruling party in the state of Karnataka. We also understand that you know, in fact, even the Home Minister of Karnataka, Mr. Arga Adnanendra, also had visited her house. Now, of course, the Congress in the state of Karnataka is not missing out on any opportunity to tear into the government. Mr. Randeep Singh Surjewala, uh, you know, senior leader of the AICC, who has, in fact, you know, now come out and said that the Bombay government, in fact, should be renamed as the scam government. So, while on one hand, the gov Karnataka government is facing charges of corruption on several levels, we saw one of the former ministers also having to resign over here now, Mr. Ishwarappa, again on charges of corruption and collecting scams. On the other hand, the government has been forced to investigate this, uh, you know, alleged scam. So it is really, uh, you know, quite unfortunate that in an election year when the people of the state are expecting some sort of announcements on the kind of development that the state would be witness to, we're seeing scam after scam coming to light and allegations after allegation and the entire matter is turning political with parties trading barbs.